Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about how to search OCC's uh, library discovery system. First, to get there, we're going to click on library under top searches. From here, we're going to click search the library. Now, what this is going to let you do is search many, many databases as well as all of the library's physical collection. Um, because of this, Generally speaking, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific than maybe you normally are. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make this easier for you. I'm going to go ahead and put in my search terms. Generally speaking, most people choose to start out pretty broad and we'll narrow it once we get in there. So if I start with the search climate change, you'll notice right away that it gives me a couple of options in the drop down box. Um, everything searches exactly what it says. It's going to search everything that's available in this system. Articles is going to search magazines and uh, journals and newspapers. The library catalog is going to search the library's physical collection as well as some other electronic things we own like ebooks or online videos. And textbooks would just search the textbook reserve collection. We're going to go ahead and search everything. So here you can see that you got 6 million results. You're probably used to seeing that many results from Google, but unlike Google where they actually take out a lot of things that they think are not really relevant, um, this is going to include all 6 million results. You're going to want to narrow down your search. There's a couple of different ways to do this, but one way might be to add keywords into your search box and narrow the scope of what you're looking for. So for example, if I'm looking for how climate change affects polar bears, I can type the word and and the word polar bears and click my enter button and it's going to redo that search. So we went from 6 million results to 12,000. That's more realistic. It's a more compact result set and it should give you something that's a little bit better to work with. Um, one thing to note, you do need to capitalize the word and in this system. Um, if you don't, it may not actually work the way it's intended to work. So now I might want to narrow down my 12,000 results even further. Um, one way to do that is over here on the side where it says filter your results. If I click on resource type, it's going to show me all the different kinds of resources that this particular search pulled up. So I can see I have articles, newspapers, reviews, books, etc. Um, if you need a specific kind of resource, this is a good way to find that and to narrow down by that. So I may only want articles. Um, in this particular system, articles means magazines and journal articles. Um, this database does give priority to journal articles though, so you'll see most of these are journals. Um, I can narrow by peer review if I like. I can also click down here on subject and I could narrow down to a particular um, subject. So I could narrow down just to polar bears if I wanted. I can narrow down to animals, etc. One great thing that you can use is this uh, creation date tool. Um, you can see the very first creation date is 1800. Uh, we probably don't want any research on climate change and polar bears from the 1800s. So what I can do is click there and change this date. Generally speaking, for science topics, you don't usually want to go much more than 10 years. So I'm going to put 2010 and then click refine. That's going to take a lot of results away. I went down to 3000 that way. Um, and that's helpful just because you don't see things that are really, really old. Now, if I wanted to actually view the article, I can click available online. It shows me every database that this is available in. Um, sometimes these links won't work, um, but as long as one of them works, um, then that should be fine. Um, if you can't get it to work, please contact the librarian and we can troubleshoot for you. Let's try this one. Okay, here's the article. Um, the full article is here, as it should be. Um, you can read the article, um, get all the information you need. This one has a citation here. Um, you can download email and all that good stuff as well.
Okay, so this opened up in a new window. So if I no longer want this article, I can click that button and it will go away. There are a couple of other tools here for you. You can um, click the permalink if you want a link to this particular record. You can email this record to yourself. Note though that printing does not print the article, it just prints this page that you're on right here. Citation will give you a citation for this article. Sometimes these citations are good and sometimes they need some help. So make sure that whatever you do, you correct this with another source, um, such as the MLA manual or uh, reputable MLA citation sites. Um, you'll notice there's also APA as well if you need that one. You can copy the citation to the clipboard by clicking that button and um, then you can copy and paste it. But like I said, just make sure that you check it for accuracy before including it in your work, just like it says down here. One other great tool, if you sign in um, and create an account, you can actually click this little pin and it will keep a list of all the articles that you are wanting to save for later. Um, Best practice though, I would actually email yourself or download the article itself as you find it, just in case something happens. One thing to note is that this system does not search everything in the library. It searches a lot of it, but not everything. Um, if you want to see what is not in this, this system, what you can do is click on databases. And this is a listing of all of our individual databases that we subscribe to. And you can go to all subjects and click on not in discovery. And that will show you the databases that are not in that system at all. Um, as you can see, most of the ones that are not in here are pretty specialized. Um, and that's why they're not, not in that particular system. Generally speaking, you'll often be able to find what you need um, in discovery but if you're not finding what you need it's best to go to this database page and see if it's in another database or you can come and talk to the librarians and we can try to figure out where um, you should be looking if you have any questions about this system or anything else in the library please contact the librarians at occ and we'll be happy to help you